Hello everyone, welcome to Anybody Gas and Yarash, and in today's video, we will discuss how to set up a new domain in Zimba. So how do we set up a new domain in Zimba? In the last video, I explained how to configure distribution lists, and before that, I covered the class of service. Please watch those videos first to better understand this topic. We have already covered the management section and its features. Now, let's move on to the configuration section. In the configuration section, you can access the menus either by clicking directly on them or by going through the configuration tab. In the configuration section, you'll find the class of service which I've already covered. Now, let's navigate to the domain section where you'll see the default domain that was installed with your server. To add a new domain, click on the new button in the corner. When you click new, it will prompt you to enter the domain name. Let's enter our new domain name here. Enter the host name, which is your mail route domain name. You can specify a port if needed. I keep the protocol settings as they are. You can specify a port here, but it's not mandatory. Zimbra will automatically assign an available port as needed. Next, you'll see the default class of service settings here as well. Keep the status as active so you can lock, maintain, or suspend the domain from here. Then click Next. For the global address list mode, you need to set it as internal or external. The system will explain its purpose and usage here. Next, select the mail server. If you have multiple email servers, you'll see multiple options here. Since we have one email server, I've selected that. Now you can specify the mail server name. You can customize the name of the global address list. After that, Click through the next few screens. Now you'll reach the login section. Here, you'll need to enter the complete email address with the domain name and the password. When setting up the virtual host with your domain name or URL, users will only need to enter their username for future logins. The system will automatically detect the domain, which is why we use virtual host. If you don't want to use this feature, click Next. Here you can define storage limits and other settings. You can also enable SMS reminders. Click Finish when done. There are many features available, but select only those that are useful for your needs. I haven't explored all features yet. Take time to review each feature you might want to use. When you select a feature, it will show its description. For more information, you can search Google for Zimbra Admin Console. After reviewing the settings, click Finish. Once your domain is added, you'll need to configure the DNS records for the domain. I'll show you all the mail records that we created during installation. The IMAP, POP, SMTP, 
and SSL records were added later. Create several A-type records for webmail, IMAP, mail, POP, SMTP, SSL, and www. Point all these records to your server IP address, then set up the MX record with the new domain name. The SPF record remains the same for both domains, but the DMARC record will be different for each domain. You can generate a DKIM record for this new domain just like we did for the previous one. To generate DKIM, use the domain name you just added. Since we've covered this process before, we won't repeat it. You can refer to my previous installation video where I demonstrated setting up these records in DKIM configuration. You'll need to set up both MARC and DKIM records for this domain as well. Now, let me show you how to monitor the server services. In the monitoring section, you can check which services are running. Running services show a check mark, while stopped services display a cross mark. The monitoring section shows all these details, and in the configuration section, you'll find various settings. Under the server section, you can manage domains and create users for the new domain. I've already covered how to create users and distribution lists in the accounts section. That concludes this video on setting up a new domain. Make sure to watch my previous videos about Distribution lists and class of service if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.